My name is John James and I started the Grief Recovery Institute over 30 years ago as a result of the death of a son in 1977. I, like many other people that I've met over the years, had made the assumption that because loss was such a common occurrence that there would be people who were trained and to know how to help. And sadly, what I discovered is, is that most of the help that people offered was intellectual in nature, and my brain wasn't really broken, it was my heart. So over a period of about eight months, I discovered a process that helped me to feel better. When John James created the phrase grief recovery back in the late 70s, almost no one had ever heard the words grief and recovery in the same sentence. And people would say to us, is recovery even possible? To this day, some people still contest it. But we, we discuss it with them, we argue it with them, and we show them from our own personal experience, from our own losses, how we have recovered and regained a sense of well-being in our lives in spite of the losses that have happened. The concept that we were operating with at the time was, how do you deliver grief recovery assistance to the largest number of people in the shortest period of time? Consequently, the, the first obvious thing was write a book. The first book was the Grief Recovery Handbook, which is now in its fourth edition, the 20th anniversary edition, that has been translated into multiple languages. Our book, When Children Grieve, also has been translated into multiple languages. And a third book uh, called Moving On deals with the enormous sadness that revolves around divorce and romantic relationships that uh, don't survive uh, to a, even to uh, the point of a marriage. But even with a book, you're only going to reach a certain number of people. And so we then decided that we would create these grief recovery outreach programs which are moderated recovery groups where people take very specific actions uh, to heal their heart. The really neat part is we give a practical, applicable set of actions people can take rather than sitting and waiting to feel better, which most people do because that's what they were taught. So the key here is actions to feel better or different than we felt and not be paralyzed into inaction which keeps us stuck forever. We began to train people, individuals, who would then return to their local community and moderate these grief recovery outreach programs. We started out with uh, four and now I don't know the number. Uh, we have thousands of them now. One of the reasons I'm sitting here talking today is so that we can make ourselves available to people when the need is. Otherwise they go, I needed you 20 years ago when my daughter died, where were you? And we don't want anyone to have to say that ever again. Every loss is as the result of the end of an emotional relationship. And every relationship is unique. So everyone grieves at 100% whatever the loss is and one loss has nothing whatsoever to do with the other. Part of grief recovery is to unlearn some of the stuff we all learned. So, we, and whether we learned it professionally or at the feet of our parents, doesn't matter. We have to unlearn some myths about grief so we can learn the method that will help us complete unfinished business. It is up to the griever of when they decide that they are willing and able to come in to do the grief recovery method. Um, it is not up to us to tell them when they have to do that. One of the most heartbreaking things is that we hear from grievers is they call and say, well, I was told that I'm not supposed to come into a group or do any work for a year, which, which is, uh, is kind of crazy. It is never too soon to start to heal your heart. I would say that within 15 minutes following a loss of any kind, the griever's mind is already starting to identify the things that they wish they had done differently or better. I cannot imagine, nor have I seen in 34 years, any benefit accrue to anyone as a result of waiting. 
We have a different perspective, and the perspective is two things. It's an absolute respect of unique individual human relationships and a recognition of a method of recovery that is available to anyone who's willing to do it. I don't care where they live, I don't care what their economic status is, I don't care what their religious beliefs are. When you experience a loss, your heart hurts, and we would love to help all the people who are, are having that kind of an experience.